What's up, YouTube? It's your fellow sneakerhead, Downstyle Player 713, coming back at you with, I believe, episode 4 of Tuxico's Closet. Uh, this week, I have about three of my pickups and one for my daughter, so a total of four. Uh, four pickups today, and I have some good news for the following week. So, let's get right into it with my daughter's pickup. I picked these up over at Jimmy Jazz online. Uh, they had a little restock on some pretty, some other shoes, so a good variety of shoes. And uh, I ended up picking her up for the Toro Force. Uh, she already has a pair, but I figured she's gonna grow them like in a month or two. So when I got, I got her just a little size bigger, so she could wear them. She likes them. I mean, they're kind of boyish, but I like them. I just show one her to have. And uh, Jimmy Jazz was nice enough to throw in. Uh, I guess it's some type of shampoo. Uh, pretty random, but I guess I guess you can't complain with extra. Alright, so we'll start off with my pickup. Got uh, the KD5, the KD5 Supreme on Pearl. Um, I had these, I already had these already, I had a pair before, but uh, they were a size 10 and a half, and for some reason the KDs, they fit me a little big, so I went ahead and got me a size 10. Uh, picked them up on eBay, pretty good price, uh, pretty pretty good condition. For uh, on, I think it was 120, picked them up for 120. And, uh, OG everything, so it's pretty nice. I mean, I, I like the whole KD on Pro, the whole thing they have to do with the whole thing, the four, five, and six. Uh, nice stuff. Got a newer release, uh, the infrared sixes. Uh, some of y'all might already see me wearing them. I decided to break them out sometime during the week, but I picked these up uh, from a good friend of mine, Jarrell. He was he was getting rid of some stuff, and I decided to pick these up. I had the Toro infrared, infrared sixes, infrared twenty three sixes. I think they call them now. But uh, I just want to get all these nice uh, pink looking infrared ones. Pretty nice shoe. Gave me a pretty good price. Went ahead and got them. Now for this next release, I'm kind of real happy. I'm real stoked to have this one. It's a release that was real hyped up. 2013. I already had it, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it at retail. I had to pay a reseller's price, and uh, I only bought it because I knew that. I just wanted to have it because everyone was going to have it, so I couldn't miss out on the biggest release of the year. Uh, it's the Air Jordan 11, the Gamma Blues. Uh, I was my, my city, Houston, Texas, was lucky enough to get one of the restocks from the beat grades. Um, so here it is. Comes with your Nike Nike Outlet bag, the orange. Comes with your uh, beat grade box with your label tag. You can also see, that I believe the those are beat grade markings for the beat grades. And uh, here's the shoe itself, the Gamma Eleven. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually real happy with this pair. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't come with the extra shoe trees in the box, but I'm, I'm happy I got the shoe at retail. For some reason, I just kind of felt a little disgusted that I paid the reseller's price for them. When I, in the back of my mind, I knew that they were gonna restock them so many times, like they did the Brady Elevens. But uh, I still did. I still went ahead and bought, bought them for resale. And uh, I haven't worn them to the day. They're still brand new. They're somewhere. They're somewhere in here back somewhere. But I'm real happy to pick these up. Uh, I woke up a little early. I didn't camp out or anything. Cause I just woke up. I remember it was on Saturday. I woke up uh, at uh, 7. Got dressed. Took off right away. I got to the outlets probably by 7.50. Uh, the store was supposed to open at 10. So I already had in my mind I would be there for at least 2 hours. So I got there like around 8. Almost 8. And I just happened to be very lucky, very fortunate to get there right when the manager came out and decided to pass out the wristbands. I actually have the wristband right here. There were so many people in line. I was about, I would say I was about number 60. And uh, the manager said, well, we don't have that many pairs. So I think uh, we already sold them out in line. So we're just going to go ahead and pass them out right now. We're going to try to get you in and out as quick as we can. So uh, he pretty much passed out the wristbands to everybody in line. And I think the only sizes that sold out when I was there was a 13. 15 no 14 and I think a 7 that's the only size that sold out but pretty much I could have woken up a little late I don't know how late I could have gotten there but I got there pretty not late but I, was, I wasn't there like I usually am for these camp outs but uh, I was lucky enough to pick them up uh, retail for these for the B grades they were I believe 169 170 and with taxes added up to 184 
and a few of y'all don't mind, go ahead and take a quick peek at them. I heard some people were complaining about their pairs were terrible, horrible. But uh, I was lucky enough to, uh, my pair, the only visible flaw I see is maybe a little bit of glue. But uh, nothing, nothing too major. I think they, uh, Jordan Brand sometimes passes these off as, uh, as the first shipment they batch. So I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with my pair. I'm real happy to have them and uh, I'm happy to have them in my collection. And uh, that's, I think that's all my pickups for this week. Uh, but on, on to some further news for next week. Uh, this morning I was able to get my get in line for uh, the Yeezy Yeezy foams, and uh, I was able to get my uh, ticket. It's not my size, but I have, I'm for sure I'm getting a pair of Yeezy foams. So look forward to that next week. Also, I was very fortunate enough to uh, get uh, the LeBron 11 uh, blue suede online. So look forward to that next week. Also, uh, uh, also. I'm sorry about that, my son. Uh, that's pretty much it. For, look forward to next week. You got the LeBron 11 suede, and you got the easy foams for next week for my pickups. Um, what else am I missing? Oh yes. Well, if you don't mind, take a look at around me. Y'all can see my uh, my pickups have been stacking up. So a few of my friends been asking me what what boxes do you use to keep your shoes in? They they know all your boxes. And I figure I'll show y'all real quick. I actually went to Walmart the other day and picked up a few. And uh, here it is right here. Actually, I picked these up at Walmart. Um, there's it's the Sterilite uh, 27 gallons. I use these because you can hold seven. I'm uh, sorry, six. You can hold six shoes in one container. I know some people like going with the uh, one per shoe, which isn't bad. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But I think it's it's a little more pricey. I think each container costs about 12 bucks, and this one for six, you know, it's the same price, 12 bucks. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Put some of these shoes up so next week will be more cleaner and this one will actually be right here so you'll just, they'll just keep stacking up until everything's filled and then we'll go from there what's next after that but uh, that's pretty much it for this video thank you for tuning in uh please like comment subscribe uh please check in with me last next week next sunday for the next two pickups and that'll be it for this week Dasa players out